Hello everyone, I'm Leviatros, and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to create Geralt of Rivia and Baldur's Gate 3. Now, let me clarify, this is a before photo, so if you're looking at it and you're like, doesn't really look like him, just wait until the end of the video. But as I go through it, the, some of the choices are a bit subjective, so if you want to take it a little bit of a different way, or maybe even do a different character class, and that's just the playstyle that you want, Feel free, but I'm going to be going through trying to recreate Geralt of Rivia as accurately to the source material as I can. And speaking of source material, there's quite a few iterations of Geralt from the books, the TV show, and the video game series. So I'm going to be aiming using Witcher 3 as my main source. And that's what I'm going to be aiming for. But I'll show a little bit of how to kind of make him look a bit more like Henry Cavill if that's what you're looking for. But let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, starting off, of course, we're going to go with the custom character. And then for race, he's definitely a modified human, but he is a human at his source. So let's go ahead and pick that one. Now for class, this is something that you might want to do something a little bit differently. But I feel like fighter is the most appropriate. I mean, I know he does some spells with his signs, but I feel like overall sword fighting is the main combat he uses. So let's go with that one. Now for fighting style. He generally uses one sword, and it's not super massive. It's not like a great sword. So I'm going to go ahead and do dueling. And if only we could get another sword that's either steel or silver, I think it would really complete the look so far. And for background, I think it's the most likely ones are either Folk Hero or Outlander, since he was not raised as part of society at Kaer Morhen, being trained to be a Witcher. It's definitely a bit of an Outlander background. But... Reading Folk Hero, he's definitely a champion of the people. You know, he does what he can to protect them, challenges monsters, protect the helpless is definitely something he would do. And saving innocents in imminent danger. And he's definitely built up a bit of a reputation for himself. So if we could just add a little bit of nuance and say begrudging Folk Hero, then I feel like this would be the most accurate one. But if you want to go with Outlander, then I completely understand that as well. But for this build, I'm going to go with Folk Hero. Now abilities, you could modify this a little bit, but I don't want to design the character and once we get into the game it's not working very well. So I'm just going to stick with the recommended one and trust the game that it's not going to mess it up as much as I would trying to do it myself. Now let's go ahead and get into the appearance as we have a bit of work to do. So first of all the body type. I think body type 4 is definitely going to be the most similar to how he is. I mean 2, he seems a bit too small, a little too short, and not as strong. So let's go with four. And then for voice, none of them are a really great match. It doesn't feel like, yeah, this is definitely it, like spot on. But I think voice, voice one index. is a pretty decent one, but also probably won't be hearing it too much throughout the game. So we'll just go with that. Now for face, let's go ahead and do head five. And once we start doing some of the customization, I think it'll come together a little bit more than it does right now. And for skin tone, let's go ahead and do neutral tone too. I mean, he's a little bit pale, but not... This feels a slightly too pale, so let's knock it up a shade and go with that one. Now, for scarring, he definitely has a few notable scars on his face. And most prominently, one that goes across his eye. He has a few others, like a small one on his nose and another kind of on his forehead. But given the options that we have, I think scar one is the most realistic or the most the one that matches the best now for maturity he is definitely a little bit older and it shows so i'm gonna go ahead and do about 50 percent slightly lower just kind of get a little bit of those wrinkles around the eyes but i think that's fine there and it's gonna be looking old enough with the white hair once we get to that now freckles we can skip and vitiligo i think also set to zero now genitals feel free go wild whatever you want whatever you're you think suits it the best, but I'm just going to leave it at default and not touch it because I am not making, I don't have enough subscribers or watch time to make money from YouTube videos, but let's go ahead and just skip that controversy. So let's go ahead and move on. Body art, no tattoos, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip that part. Eyes, he, unfortunately we can't do that like cat's eye pupil that he has, but we can go ahead and try to get that yellow color. And I think Topaz 2 is the most fitting one. Sometimes it almost looks like his eyes are glowing, but I think Topaz 2 gives us a nice of that yellow color and a bit bright without coming off as like over the top or anything. 
Now, makeup, again, we can just skip this one or you get as it is. Now, hairstyle. In the games, in the game alone, in Witcher 3, you have a few options for the hairstyle. So, what you picture in your mind of what Geralt looks like from your playthrough of Witcher 3 may be different from someone else's. But I'm going to go ahead and just kind of give my thoughts on it. And if you want something a little bit different, feel free. Like I said, this is kind of up to you. But as we scroll through, one of the hair options in the game is a bit of like an undercut where it's like pretty short on the sides. So if that's the one you want, Foxtail, I think, is going to be the most matching. But I don't really like the look of the hair when it's like you can kind of see through the skin or see the skin through it. So I'm not going to be using this one. Instead, I think the best fit overall for the character is going to be this one, Fair Forester. You get the ponytail that kind of has the knot in the back, and so I think that's pretty fitting with what how Geralt looks like in Witcher 3. Now, if you want slightly variations of this, you could also do Elysium Fan that kind of makes the ponytail a little bit shorter. And on top of that, you could also do Pinned and Perfect for a slightly different look to it. But still, it's all kind of variations of the same thing. I feel like the Fair Forester is the most accurate. But if you're looking for the character you want to play as Geralt from the Witcher series, the Henry Cavill look, then you can also go ahead and do... Win or First of all, you can also use Windswept if you just don't want the ponytail period, but still have that long hair. And then for a bit of a more brutish, uncapped look like he has in the Netflix series, I think Willow Tears is going to be the best match for the Henry Cavill look. But, like I said, I think Fair Forester, for how Geralt of Rivia looks like to me in Witcher 3, I think this one's the best fit, so that's what I'm going to go with. Now, hair color definitely has white hair. He's pretty known for that. And as you go, if you try out other shades of white, they kind of have like this dash of color, like blue or like green into it. So I think white one is going to be the best look. Gray it kind of makes it a little bit too black and not enough white. So I think white one is going to be the best, the optimal one. Highlights, we can just skip that. So it doesn't matter. We're going to set it to zero. And then graying, this is something that can help because right now, like I picture white, but this looks like a light gray. If we hit the graying intensity to 100, it just adds that white throughout the whole thing it kind of gives it a little bit of that whiter look that i imagine so that's the way i'm gonna do it and then facial hair if you're going for netflix series henry cavill witcher he doesn't have a beard so you're already done but while there's a few different looks that you can have your facial hair in the game i think the top two are either gonna be jaw clinger or groomed rascal and either of these i think you'll be pretty set. Jogglinger, I want the beard to be a little bit shorter than it is as Kroom Draskal. Don't really like the look where you can see the skin through the hair, as I mentioned. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Kroom Draskal for this one. Hair color, keep it the same, already good. And let's go ahead and proceed. Now, I think we're getting a character that looks pretty good, pretty accurate match to the character. I mean, you can't customize it too much, so you can't make it look like it's straight from the game of Witcher 3. Like, people are going to see this and see it and be able to tell that's a custom character designed to look like Geralt. But I think if someone walks by, they can be like, oh, that's Geralt. And it's like, yeah, that's kind of what we're going for. And the character name, of course, we're going to do Geralt. You can also do of Rivia, or you can name him Butcher of Blaviken, whatever title you want him to have. But I'm going to go ahead and just stick with simply Geralt. And that's going to wrap it up for the character customization. Now, I will say, once we get to Guardian, you can do a, a few different approaches. You can do Yennefer or Triss, whichever, whichever person you decide to pursue in Witcher 3. Or you can come, kind of do a different, a completely different approach. There's a lot of characters to choose from. I mean, you can make a bard character and just run around Baldur's Gate with Dandelion if that's what you're up for. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here with our Geralt of Rivia build. Now, if you want to see me actually play as Geralt and roleplay as the character, I'm planning to do that, release it one part at a time, about play an hour, edit the highlights, post on my YouTube channel. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to subscribe. Or if you'd like to see my other videos, such as playing Persona for Golden in real time, or reviews of the latest movies that are coming out, then I think you're in the right place. But that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. So thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.